stop any 10 people on a street who have at least a little bit of idea about Indian women's cricket and ask them who is India's key player under pressure situation. Chances are most of them will say Harman Preet Kaur. She is most followed Indian women's cricket team player on social media. Hello friends, I am Isaac and you are watching The Top Trending. So, let's get started. Harman Preet Kaur was born on 8th March 1989 in Moga, Punjab. Harman Preet Kaur has a story quite unlike a lot of other female sports stars in the country. It wasn't tough convincing her folks when she decided to turn professional that her family was obsessed with the game helped. Her performance in the field did the rest. This is what Harman Preet Kaur has to say in an interview. I was always very determined that I have to represent India. I don't even remember thinking about any other career option other than cricket. Kamaldeep Singh Sodhi, who owned a Moga Premier Cricket Academy, was on a talent scouting trip to one of the local Maidans in Punjab. When Sodhi spotted a skinny teenage girl taking on a challenge from local boys in gully cricket and acing them, the decision to build a girls team from scratch was almost instinct. Little did he know he was planting one of the most celebrated women's cricketers. She made a ODI debut at the age of 20 against arch-rival Pakistan in March 2009 in the 2009 Women's Cricket World Cup. July 2009, Harman Preet Kaur played her first T20 match versus England. In 2010, Harman Preet's batting talent came into limelight when she scored 33 runs versus England in a T20 match. And in 2012, she was named as India's women's team captain for the 2012 Women's T20 Asia Cup Finals as Captain Maithali Raj and Vice Captain Goswami were out because of injuries. She made her debut as a captain versus Pakistan as India defeated Pakistan by 81 runs and won an Asia Cup. In November 2015, she proved her talent in the field of bowling taking 9 wickets in a test match versus South Africa. In Jan 2016, she helped India to win series in Australia by scoring 31 balls 46 runs in India's highest ever run chase in T20 International. She continued that form in 2016 ICC Women's World T20 where she scored 89 runs and took 7 wickets in 4 matches. Later that same year, 2016, she became the first Indian cricketer to be signed by a overseas T20 franchise Sydney Thunders, the Women's Big Bash League. Now we all know Harman Preet Kaur for scoring a blistering 171 runs of just 115 balls versus Australia in all important semi-finals match. So let's all wish a lot of success to Harman Preet Kaur in coming years. If you have liked this video then please do hit the like button down below and share this video with your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.